That was the insurrection done to America by the radical, radical, fat black lesbian, uh, uh, Black Lives Matter group. They are monsters. They, are, they were trained monsters, according to them. They hate the order of the family. And they went around the country tearing down statues and monuments and setting fires and destroying businesses and people were killed, police officers were killed, and they were calling it white supremacy. They were calling it racism. You didn't hear any of that. Well, here's what I saw. So in the summer of 2020... Did you hear any of that first? Did I, did I hear individual people that did were you hear the Black Lives Matter people? Yeah, did you hear the Black Lives Matter folks uh, blaming all their mess on white supremacy and all that kind of stuff. I saw some people doing that, but you said the, the, the majority or the vast majority of black people. And I don't think that you can take a, what turned out to be a, a bit of an agitprop protest group uh, to be the thoughts of, of all, or even of, of a large majority. No, of, you're right about people. that. But if, if you talk to the average black person, except for a few, not all, not all, not all, but most, they would tell you that <laughs> they would tell you that they believe that white supremacy exists. They believe white people are superior to them. Yeah, that has not been my experience at all. Really? I'm just I like I I'm I and it is not from a, a lack of exposure to black people. So I, I, that's not been my experience. So you know, I, I But you said you heard them say that white people think I heard that they are superior well, no, I've heard to- some people say that. I, I've heard some people say that, but I've not heard a majority or most or or even a, a what I would call a large plurality of them doing that. No, I, I here's what I will say. I saw uh, in summer of 2020 uh, in the midst of the worst uh, single wholesale abuse of the rights of the people, which was the covid regime and the lockdowns and mandates and all of that. I saw in the midst of that and all the misery that was causing, I saw what started as a natural and and organic reaction to an increasingly out of control police state uh, turn into uh, you know, riots and uh, turn into uh, funding for uh, candidates like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, who were the architects of that police state. Uh, and then I saw on the other side, I saw people who didn't recognize the problems with the police state who were uh, bl- uh, uh, simultaneously blaming the police state for failing to do anything to stop the rioters and the looters. And I wish that those two groups of people had taken a step back and realized that the the police state that was killing people and not being held accountable and being giving military equipment and very little accountability and immunity in court uh, was the exact same system that these people were upset were doing nothing to stop the rioting that had been created by their actions. Um, And so I wish that they had realized that they were largely, they were against the same opponent, but instead, as is usual, the ruling class played them against each other, divide and conquer. And, uh, and that's how that played out through the whole summer of 2020. There wasn't a single policy change, a significant policy change that happened at the federal level. Uh, And uh, someone who cheer led the police state got replaced with the architect of the police state in the white house. Uh, So nothing good happened from that. Well, you know, and we all have noticed that most black people are just angry and out of control. They have no sense of self-control. Why are the black, like for example, they have uh, taken away the bail's bond thing, no bail's bond, right? And, and no mm-hmm. police now. The police are gone. And the blacks are just gone out of control. Where are the police gone? Where are the police gone? Uh, defunding the police and... And that there, never happened. there are places that was a, like that was New a proposal, York and, and, and uh, Wisconsin and those, other places those where a lot of police have, have quit and, and went to uh, Miami, Florida, somewhere in red states, right? But what I want to know from you, what is it wrong with the blacks that they have no sense of self-control and they go out of control? They have yeah, no so shame. What's wrong with them? Yeah, that's not, I don't agree with that. So here, but Why here's don't what you I will agree say. with that? The, because that's not true. You can't say that all or, or even a large majority of black all, people I have said no control. Most, not all, not all, not all. I don't all. believe I don't believe that most do either. But I, I want to talk are about you the living defund in the police America? thing, Jesse. Yeah, I live in America. I want to talk about the police state thing. Are out of control? I want to talk about the police state thing. No, I, I don't believe that. So I I, I think that if if thirteen percent of um, black people make up what 11, 12, 13 percent of America, I think if thirteen percent of Americans or even let's say ten percent of Americans were truly out of control, then you wouldn't be able to go outside. It would be worse than Mad Max. Well, no, that's common. That. It, it almost no, at that not. point it's, right now. 
it, I don't I don't believe that. So the, I want to talk about the defund the police. Well, you, 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 you mentioned the defund the police thing. I just want to talk about that for a minute. Defund the police never actually happened. Police what? departments are getting record funding. Uh, Joe Biden tripled federal funding for police departments. It went from, uh, I think, 140 or $150 billion uh, under Donald Trump to nearly $500 billion under Joe Biden. It was one of the first <laughs> things he did when he was in office. Where are you uh, getting so that they, information from? They have from? record amounts of funding. They have record amounts of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of equipment. And, uh, and like I said, there hasn't been an actual policy change for police to be held to the same level of accountability that you or I are. That still hasn't happened. They still have so qualified immunity. True, they still th have powerful police unions protecting them and and uh, you know uh, uh, circling the wagons around them when when one of their officers does bad. And what that leads to is it actually incentivizes bad policing and punishes good policing. It, it punishes the ones who step out, who speak out, who who try to whistleblow to how the system is, and it discourages good people from getting involved in policing. So I think That's that amazing. has far more to do with any problems in policing than the the defund, which literally, which did not happen. I mean, it, it, any major proposal to so they're lying uh, about police defunding. departments or, or reduce uh, uh, amounts of funding just it haven't happened at any, maybe at a local level or something, but certainly not at the state and definitely not at the federal level. Where so are they uh, lying to us about the defunding the police when they say that? Were they lying to us? I think a lot of them were lying that that's what they wanted to so do. So why you can't did the police say, stop you can't protecting say, us wanna, from them? You can't say I want to defund the police and then support Joe Biden, who is the architect of the police state. If you look at Joe Biden's policies over his nearly 50 years in Washington, D.C., he is the man behind civil asset forfeiture. He is the man behind the war on one of the main people behind the war on drugs. He is one of the main people behind the militarization of the police. He has either been at the head of it or one of the main people behind every major uh, change that led to us going from having uh, police whose main purpose was to well, enforce laws and protect people into becoming essentially a, a military occupational that. force. I happen to What's agree that? because you're right. The reason that blacks and liberal whites still support Joe Biden knowing all those things is because they're not able to think for themselves. The government has been taking care of them. And so now the blacks are addicted to the government and that's how they are being controlled by the Democratic Party. So I do agree. That's why they keep voting for Joe Biden. They are not able to take care of themselves. They need the government. The children born out of wedlock, the men, the black men are no good. The black women are angry and controlling and relying on the government. So you're right. That's why they keep voting for the Democratic Party. But you what added I, some things I didn't say there, but okay. No, I'm, I'm just agreeing with you that that's why they support the Democrats because the blacks are incapable of taking care of themselves.